Hey, what's up everybody? God bless you. This is Brother Brian. Love has a name YouTube channel. Welcome. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a prophetic word from Amanda Grace, which I mentioned earlier in the week that I would do today on Friday. Today is Friday, December 15th, 2023. Praise the Lord. Entering into the weekend. Hopefully you all, as well as myself, will get some rest and relaxation and whatnot, and maybe even catch up on some videos. Amen. All right. Well, this word is probably going to be a little bit lengthy, so I do want to jump right in. Before I do, um, as I typically forget, but you know, feel free to share this video if this is something that you feel like you can share on your Facebook. You feel like others would like to hear what the Lord is saying through Prophetess Amanda Grace. Please do share on your Facebook, your TikTok, your Truth Social, your Twitter X, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, wherever. Feel free to do that. Amen. Always a blessing. I do get actually uh, I actually get weekly reports on my YouTube Studio back office, which kind of lets me know about the analytics and lets me know which videos are doing well. Uh, lets me see all the comments from all of you wonderful saints. Um, lets me know uh, just different things so that I can I can think of it as um, from the perspective of, of one like managing and kind of owning. And obviously this is a ministry of the Lord as given to me. So I do want to pay attention to all that. Uh, I really enjoy it. So let me know when all of you share, when you like weekly uh, analytics, as well as monthly statistics and so forth. So <coughs> I like numbers. So I like to, to, to deal with that. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, before I do, make sure you check out the previous two videos in case you haven't, because yesterday I did share a dream encounter, a powerful dream encounter that the Lord gave me just a few days earlier, where the Lord caught me away in the spirit, and I didn't realize that it was um, that it was in the dream realm. And then midway through, the Lord quickened me and let me know that it actually was... An actual encounter in the spirit while my body was physically sleeping at night so a dream encounter and uh, it was very very cool quite funny and I did add some editing and so forth I apologize for speeding up the sound a little bit on that you know I'm always experimenting um, I won't do that next time <laughs> but you get some good laughs out of that um, and on top of that the video before that was a Diana Larkin prophetic word where the Lord spoke to her about three days of darkness and then the fourth day very, very mysterious, very cool, and I share some insight there that you might find quite interesting. All right, so make sure you check those out, and uh, let's go ahead and pray and jump right into the Word. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Holy Spirit. We ask you to grant us the honor and the privilege for it is our inheritance to enter into your presence, Lord. We, right now, we choose to slow down. We choose to focus on you. We choose to meditate on your goodness. We choose to allow desire and love and delight to flow from our soul, our mind, will, and emotions towards you, Lord. That we may connect with you. And in doing so, we enter into your presence. And your presence is in the spiritual realm. Yes, it is all over throughout creation, but we can only enter by the Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you for your presence now. We bless your name. And from this place, Lord, as I read the words that you have given to your daughter, Amanda Grace, we ask that you bring forth insight, wisdom, revelation, knowledge for your glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this wonderful honor to experience union with you in jesus name 
Amen. Hallelujah. You know, some of those things you may have heard me say that were different there, even in that prayer, are based off of things the Lord has been teaching me this week. And um, more and more, I believe I'm going to go be getting into that as I learn more, um, especially with 2024 coming in, because there are some themes about 2024 that some of you have already heard, but I believe that the Lord is going to unpack and unravel even more and more revelation, okay? Such as entering through the gate of Jesus, <clears throat> gates, portals, meditation, which the Lord commands us to meditate on the law day and night. He tells us to think on these things, Philippians 4, 8. He tells us to set our affection on things above. When you do these things, you're meditating. So if it spooks anyone else, spooks anyone out there, you can't get away from it. You have meditated all your life. You just didn't know it. These are things that I'm learning, and it is astounding. It could be towards bad, which is we need to be aware so that we don't do that, but we can use these principles towards the good, teaching us how to enter into the presence of God, enter into the spiritual realm, enter into the glory realm. Oh man, there's just so much, so much I'm learning. I'm still trying to put language to it. And it's kind of exciting because when it's something new like this, I'm like, whoa, I'm so hungry to learn. Oh, so that I can, therefore, release what he's teaching me. Amen? All right. Praise the Lord. This is the prophetic word the Lord has given to Amanda Grace, dated November 18th, 2023. Word from the Lord, the current state of the nation, and what's coming. Please make sure you look in the description below to see how you can follow Amanda Grace's ministry. Check out her blog. All the details are down below. <clears throat> And you can always read these words for yourself, all right? This is what the word says. Praise, honor, and glory be to the Lord Most High, maker of heaven and earth. The earth is his footstool, and to his kingdom there is no end. And the Spirit of the Lord says this day, I am calling the Zerubbabels in this hour. I, the Lord, am calling them out to help raise the standard. Mount a resistance in the faith and rebuild the ruins of this nation. The ruins spiritually. The ruins politically. The ruins economically. The rubble, as you stand and see the rubble and the debris and the broken down gates, both in your nation and your brother Israel. As you look at the task before you, do not focus on the devastation, but focus on hearing the strategies and solutions I, the Lord God, am dispatching in this hour. Scrolls and keys I, the Lord God, am giving unto my appointed, for you must look beyond the confusion, beyond the ruins, beyond the destruction to see what I, the Lord thy God, am set to do in Israel and in the United States of America, and in England, and even Egypt, says the Lord. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, O Zerubbabels, I have appointed you, and I, the Lord, am calling you forth. Governor Huckabee Sanders, my daughter, I am calling you to continue to stand amidst what appears to be confusion and oppression and rubble in the nation. I am calling you to stand and speak forth the words I, the Lord, give you, and you will assist in dealing with the brokenness in this nation in this hour. Do not hesitate to speak what I give you, for I am the Lord, the Lord God, and I am with you. And I shall uphold you against your critics, and I shall protect your family. You shall know me even more during this time as Jehovah Nisi, your banner. Jehovah to sit canoe, your righteousness. As you and your state bear a standard 
and a light for me that will spread across the nation. Wow. It escapes me off the top of my head <clears throat> what uh, state um, governor, who is it, Huckabee Sanders? Yeah, Huckabee Sanders. It escapes me what state that she um, is governor of. So if you wouldn't mind helping, helping me out, helping all of us out, let me know in the comments below. You can say um, Governor Sanders oversees the state of or governs in the state of, etc. Okay, that way I have some context with, with your, your comments. <clears throat> All right. Thus says the Lord, I am calling out the other Zerubbabels. Three more, says the Lord. One towards the west, one towards the north, and one in the heart of your nation, says the Lord. Come forth, says the Lord. Come forth in this hour and receive your strategies. I, the Lord thy God, will equip you with for a double portion and a double mantle of equipping shall occur in this hour. And says the Lord of hosts, Jews and Gentiles, stop your quarreling on the conservative spectrum, for it is being used as a distraction in this hour. The enemy is using such to try and divide my firstborn, Israel, and my adopted children, Gentiles. Stop it, says the Lord. Stop it, for I love you, however. For, sorry, sometimes the punctuations aren't in here, and so I backtrack, and let me, let me just try to edit this with the way I speak it as I'm going, okay? That's all good. No one's perfect. Okay, the Lord says, stop it, stop it, for I love you. However, the daily wire must come into order, or that wire shall fray and snap in the middle, says the Lord of hosts. Stop your quarreling and come unto me. The Lord your God, with all prayer and petition. Hold your peace. In an hour of shaking, says the Lord, walk circumspectly with your words, for your words have power and your platforms influence. And in this hour, I need these to be focused and be a light and a voice to reach through the confusion in this hour, not to add to it with squabbles and cutting words. I shall not tolerate rogue daggers in this hour of rhetoric, says the Lord. I shall not, for the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. However, I, the Lord your God, I give life, and life more abundant. I, the Lord, vindicate, and I, the Lord, order your steps. Do not make your own steps out of emotion in this hour, for it will hurt you, Ca it will hurt your cause, excuse me, and weaken your voice. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. It is your choice, says the Lord. Choose wisely this day. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, I am God and there is no other. And the aid of Hamas, the cash flow, of Hamas, the muscle of Hamas, shall be cut off in this hour, for other nations shall close their funnels to such as shall close their funnels to such as they are maneuvering, so the blood and the very desperate move Hamas is about to make is not on their hands, and nations shall quietly back out and away. They will do this as they chant death to nations. They shall be secretly cutting their funnels and supplies off. There shall be an event, even a military event within Israel and around 
that shall catch the entire Middle East off guard, says the Lord. A maneuver so brilliant, it could only come from me, says the Lord. For the snake shall be cut off at the head. Praise God. And the snake's eggs found and destroyed, says the Lord of hosts. And during this, stubborn leaders shall be yoked. They shall come under my direction and will become pelled. Okay, the word spelled out here is C-O-M, compelled. Normally, it would be one word, compelled, but specifically, it is written out as C-O-M dash, okay, or hyphen, compelled. In the direction I, the Lord, thy God, say. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, O oh, the officials accuse, O oh, the officials, they plot. The New York court system and Washington, D.C. court system will not receive solace and support from the higher branches of justice. They shall find themselves on an island, says the Lord, on an island. W wanton behavior, hmm. headhunters, and poisonous vipers, says the Lord an island of their own making. The appellate court shall fight with the lower courts and disagree with many of their rulings and methods, for it brings injustice to the whole lot, says the Lord. A major ruling is coming in the appellate courts that will wake up and revive more of the nation that is oppressed and in bondage. Watch in this hour, says the Lord. Whoa, that right there has is jumping out at me as like a very, very strong po <coughs> point. And you may notice that I did say the word appellate courts correct this time. A couple months back, I was like, I don't even know how to say that right now. <laughs> uh, and many of you helped me out in the comments with that, so praise the Lord. So give me a high five, amen. <laughs> okay, we are towards the end here. Let's see what else the Lord is going to say. The word continues. The Lord says, and says the spirit of the Lord this day, India. India is about to make a major and damaging maneuver against the country of the red dragon. Watch and see. See the leaders that have been around the globe perusing that which they may purchase or take. The governors that have welcomed them, welcomed them in and shown them their treasures and scurried to cover the waste. Their seat shall rupture, says the Lord, for they have met with the dragon. That's the country of the red dragon and made deals with devils, demonic spirits, and for that I shall strike a blow to the leader of the country of the Red Dragon for daring to utilize the UN to attempt to chain my firstborn. And for going to the West and examining areas of great interest to take and have a large anchor in which to tug on and harm what I, the Lord thy God, intend to do in the West of this nation, California, Washington, Alaska, watch the wave of change that occurs. And within that change, resources that come forth, says the Lord. Two new governors, says the Lord. Two. Whoa, very intriguing way the Lord just spoke that. And says the Lord of hosts, I, the Lord, and creator of the heavens and the earth, of what is seen and what is unseen, this day I, the Lord, make a decree. Whoa. And says the Spirit, the Lord thy God is making a proclamation from his throne. Hear ye, the inhabitants of the nations, hear ye. The leadership in America, 
in France, in Canada, in Israel. Thus says the Lord thy God, the righteous judge who changes not, neither sleeps nor slumbers. You leaders have allowed in Babylon, have allowed in Babylon. You have allowed the wicked officials of Babylon to walk across your borders. You have allowed the rulers of the darkness and the vipers that oversee the drug trade to bring their potions, intoxications, incantations, idolatrous behavior across your border. You, O oh leaders, have allowed this. You have allowed the ways of Babylon. You have welcomed in perversions to set up their hubs, the butchers of the cartels, the butchers of Hamas, the butchers of the medical industry. You have allowed them to set up their stations. And now I, the Lord thy God, shall begin to tear them down. Oh, man. Oh, shataramase. Can we just take a moment and just say hallelujah? Yes, Lord, do it. Because we know how terrible this whole open borders thing is. Amen. Ooh. Yes, type that in the comments. Do it, Lord. Tear the How do we want to word this, Lord? Tear down the butchers. Yes, let's type that in. Tear down the butchers. Okay, the word butchers is spelled B U T C H E R S. Thank you, God, for that. All right, continuing. Now I, the Lord thy God, shall begin to tear them down. There shall be those running from the border in this hour, for they shall not bring the day of the dead into areas. I, the Lord thy God, am raising up for my glory. They shall not bring the day of the dead into areas that I, the Lord thy God, am raising up for my glory. Okay. There shall be a drying up at the border, a drying up of business interests at the border, praise God, says the Lord. You say in your flesh, how can that be? It's too much. My ways, says God, are higher than your ways. And my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And Mexico shall have leadership that arises with brilliant strategies to cut off networks. For I, the Lord thy God, this day am issuing judgment against the traffickers. Whoa, do it, Lord. The Lord says again, This day I am issuing judgment against the traffickers and pushers and leaders of the drug trade, says the Lord. I am issuing judgment this day, and their contracts shall be torn, their markets interrupted, and there shall be a change, says the Lord, as the cartels shall turn on each other <laughs> and destroy each other's stock, says the Lord. For they have lifted up their trade as an idol. And now I, the Lord thy God, shall confuse their markets, their channels, their communications, and they shall turn one, and they shall turn. Pause. <laughs> one high up shall have an encounter with me. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jesus. One high up shall have an encounter with me and assist in taking down some of the most powerful in that trade. Oh, thank you, Lord. Wow. Watch, says the Lord. It has been decreed this day and it shall go forth. My God. Let me pause here. You all know what the Lord says in Isaiah 55, that he sends forth his word and it shall not return to him void. His words go forth and they will accomplish that which they were sent to do. Wow. Awesome. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, what is most important is your relationship with me. 
the Lord your God, through my Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. That is your focus, first and foremost. For as you press in this hour, I shall and will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you, overflowing, my children, so you can aid even more in this hour and do my work and my will for your lives. For the redirect has begun, and I am sending you forth as you submit. You shall see order and great advance in your lives. Wow. <clears throat> Just a few weeks ago, I remember the Lord was speaking of the, was using the words advancement, if I'm not mistaken, through Andrew Toe. There are some videos that I shared. I can't remember if he also said it, if it was through Veronica West and or Lana Vosser. But I know we've heard that before. Amen. Now, the Lord here. Lastly, he says, I shall give a bumper crop to Israel as they completely submit to me. Ezra, says the Lord, Ezra, reconsecrate yourselves, O Israel. O America, reconsecrate yourselves before the Lord. There is an underground control center, not a tunnel, says the Lord, a full-fledged control center that contains the plans, the blueprints, locations of all bunkers, tunnels, stockpiles. I am leading the Israeli army to it. Call on me, my children. For you are about to hit the motherboard. And as that occurs, you shall see a short circuit in your leadership and the three branches of a very corrupt GOVT in your nation. And that circuit shall carry a charge that leads to the judges. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in the name of Yeshua, sits at my right hand. I am God. I am. Wow. <clears throat> oh, powerful words. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. And I can feel your presence coming in stronger towards the end there. Hallelujah. All right, saints. Well, that is the word that I wanted to share with you today. Let me go ahead and pray for you so that you may be touched by the Lord, that you may be refreshed as you end your week, um, as you enter into the weekend, or whenever it is that you're watching this video. Okay, With the Lord, there is no such thing as time and space. The Lord is everywhere, all at once. He is right there when you need Him. Amen? So, Father... Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray from your realm. For I am seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Just like your people who are listening now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I come into agreement with your will for their lives. I release every answer that they are seeking. I release the miracles that they are waiting for with anticipation and with faith. I release, O oh God, the healings that they need that is theirs. May it manifest in their lives. And Lord, I release now deliverance for it is the children's bread. We belong to you, Lord God, and it is our portion to have that which you died to give us, absolute freedom. For in you, we live, we move, we have our being. Help us, Lord. Tether us. Entangle us in you. Or rather, Bring us that revelation and that awareness and that mindfulness that we already are 
entangled, united with you. One spirit. 1 Corinthians 6.17 He who is joined to the Lord has become one spirit with him. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. For you are good. Oh, so good. And worthy. And mighty. And beautiful. Thank you for comforting us. Thank you for meeting your people's needs. Thank you, Lord, for the angelic help. For we have angels. All of us have angels assigned to us. Thank you for what you do, Lord. Bless your people in the name of Jesus. Oh, I release your presence. I release your anointing. And I release your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that increase. Thank you for your tangible presence. We give God all the glory through Christ Jesus. Amen. All right. Well, make sure you look to see how you can follow Amanda Grace. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe on this channel. Please hit the like as well. Come on, let's get the likes up there. It's completely free to do. It doesn't mess up your YouTube or anything. It just shows that you're supporting the channel. What a great way to do it, completely free, amen? Make sure you also share and leave a few comments, all right? So stay tuned, within the next couple of days, I plan to also, I'm gonna have to transcribe this myself. Um, Manuel Johnson has had another powerful prophetic word and insight into 2024, so I'm gonna type that up soon and bring it to you all, amen? So, well, that's it for now. Uh, I do have a Telegram channel, completely free. Uh, it's been a busy week, so I have not been super active there, but I'm going to try my best to send you all a lot of prophetic news because a lot of stuff is happening. Amen? So you can join my Telegram channel. There's only one way to join. It's through the link in the description. Okay? Hear my words. Don't look for me on Telegram. There's always somebody saying, I can't find Brian on Telegram. I can't say it any clearer. Go through the link. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Go watch some funny. Go celebrate the season. Go have some joy. Think about Jesus. Even if we don't know when his birthday was. It doesn't matter. Celebrate Jesus because you love Jesus. Amen. Don't let your religious, don't let a religious mindset block you from something so simple. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. See you later in another video. Bye-bye.